Hello folks, here is a quick unboxing and use case, I guess, of the uh, Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus CE uh, Python edition. Uh, it has a very nice comparison here in the, in the back uh, that hopefully is um, readable, legible on the, uh, on the screen. And this is the one, the TI-84 Plus CE, and has some specifics and some comparison against the uh, previous ones. I have here the 84 plus, which my daughter has been using all this time. I got this from my daughter and, um, uh, from a size standpoint, it's, uh, I guess it's quite big. So we'll, we'll do a quick comparison. This is the, let me just remove the cover. So this is the 84 plus, which is right here. One, uh, this one. So you can, from a resolution standpoint, it's much better. Obviously this one's color, but from a resolution standpoint, it's much better, much better memory if we go from 480 to 480 kilobytes to three megs. And it has Python and TI basic and a bunch of other additional uh, use cases, uh, color backlight, rechargeable battery, which is cool, import images and then whatnot. So there's a and software licensing, which I'm not sure what that's about, but I'll look into that one. Get a four year subscription of software licensing. So I don't know what that means. Um, but obviously it has a whole lot of features and this is, this one is uh, nicely priced the 84 plus CE. And one of the benefits is that it doesn't have some of the other like differential equations or integrals or, uh, what is the other one? Um, I forgot what something else was, uh, and it doesn't have all of that. So it's allowed to be used in many places. The higher end one, which I believe is this one. CX, even though it has more features or it doesn't show the uh, differential equations here, they don't allow it to use uh, them in, in testing and things like that. Um, by the way, this comes in different colors. I got the black one uh, because it was um, quickly available for shipping. There's also blue and red and whatever, and the pricing is different depending on the color you get. Uh, so this was about 100, 110 bucks. I think the blue one was cheaper, but it would not get here uh, for another 20 days. Um, so just to, I think they're all pretty much the same in terms of the different colors, but you know, it's permitted for testing and let's see, it's got, um, obviously the Python, find out more about the software, charger, battery, color screen and protective case. Um, so as a student, you know, you're carrying around a lot of stuff. You got your phone. Let's say you also carry your MacBook or whatever. Uh, let me move the, the case. You can see this. So you can tell right away it's, it's thinner compared to the other one, right? So when it's got more feet, it's thinner, and it's also lighter. Uh, this one with the four AAA batteries, it does add to the weight, but I think even without the batteries, this one's still heavier. So it takes up more room, makes it difficult to carry. I don't think you can fit in, in um, you know, in a, in, let's say in a coat pocket. This one's kind of big. Um, I wish I could, well, here's an iPhone. Here's an iPhone 14, regular iPhone 14, just in terms of, for comparison's sake, in terms of the uh, the size and all. But um, anyway, so this one is um, uh, is lighter and weighter compared to this one. Obviously, it has more features. Screen size, I would say, is pretty much the same. But obviously, it's more resolution. I'm just trying to figure out how to turn on. There's a power button somewhere. Here we go, on button. Let's see if it'll turn on. Um, oh my God, very very good, uh, very good uh, display uh, right here. I don't want to move too much because I want my daughter to open it. But I told her I want to do. Uh, just an unboxing and a comparison. Uh, so let's see, it's got the um, the mini USB here for um, or connection and testing. And I really wish it did not have, I wish it had either micro USB or USB-C. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but so this is a, this is a micro USB. This is lightning and this is USB-C. No one uses mini USB anymore, which is the older standard. However, this one still has mini USB, which is, Probably the only negative side I can think of uh, in this one. And um, yeah, it's uh, pretty responsive. Uh, now I will say this, right? It's like, well, what would you need to calculate instead of, well, you got a calculator on your iPhone and maybe you can also install an app on your iPhone that'll uh, provide some of the same features. The difference is um, I like buttons and the responsiveness on the iPhone actually is not all that great. Even sometimes when I use it on, on the calculator more, just a regular calculator, I press so fast here that I can't do the same thing on, on that. It'll, it'll actually miss a number, uh, despite the iPhone being so responsive, but the calculator part sucks uh, for whatever reason. So having an iPhone is definitely much more, uh, I'm sorry, having a calculator is definitely much more better. 
in, in that respect. Um, so uh, here we are. And like I said, I don't know how to use it. I'm pretty sure it comes with this. Well, let's see what else it comes with anyway. Uh, we have some online calculator, some, some kind of guide. And it uh, comes with the, uh, like I said, mini USB cable. Uh, I don't know what comes with two cables. I don't know what this is. Pretty interesting. It's almost like it's a, um, a USB to... I've never seen this one before and it doesn't mention what that is. Uh, so I guess I'll have to read the instructions for that, uh, for that other, that was a nice surprise that I was not aware of. So I've never seen this, uh, the standard, I, I want to say H like a mini or a micro HDMI, but uh, it has a USB logo on it. So I have no idea what that is. It's a USB a, um, okay. So we'll have to figure that out. Maybe it's for some software. Um, but yes, um, overall very, uh, happy with the purchase. Thanks for watching.